Hi, my name is John Moran and this is uh, the second in a series of tutorials on how to use Omega T, which is an open source computer aided translation tool. Uh, what I'm going to focus on in this tutorial is how to turn on the spell checker and we're going to look at the tag checker. So I've started up Omega T. Uh, I don't have a project loaded at the moment. Uh, I'm using version 2.0. Point five, four. Um, it's August 2010, just so you know roughly if it's in three years time that you're listening to this, everything's probably out of date. Um, I'm going to open up Proj2, which is the project I was working on on the first tutorial. And I'm just going to go down one segment and back one. Okay. Actually, I want to open a different file, so I'm going to go to project, project at time, project files, and I want to work with sample three. Okay, I'm going to close. Okay, so this is a better file to work with. Control E, Control P, so I know where I am. Okay, so and then I'm going to introduce an error here, uh, and as we can see, it, it's not aligned. So we know that spell checking is definitely turned off. Okay, we can confirm that if we go to options, and Spell checking. Rechtschreibprüfung in German. Okay, so if we want to turn it on, I'm going to move it back over here so that you can see it. Uh, we click the checkbox, automatically check spelling, and then um, I'm not sure what that is in English. Um, choose folder maybe. Um, just click on it and then accept the you know my documents. Somewhere, somewhere general above a specific project. Um, and then uh, install. This now goes online, so you must make sure you're on the internet. And I'm going to choose ENGB, which is the closest dialect of English to my own. And then I press close. And it's listed here, okay? So do that whole process. Don't be in a big hurry, especially if you have a slow internet connection. Uh, I'm going to click OK. And then as we can see, it reloads the document and does the spell check. If we look in uh, my documents, or Eigen Dateien in German, uh, we see the two spell checking files. OK. So that's how we install it, and then we use it very simply, same as Microsoft Word. Uh, we get a right click with a context menu, and uh, we can change. We can also add, let's say we want to add the word online. Uh, well, go to the segment, and then online. So add to dictionary, okay? And then we might want to ignore for the next one. Okay. Actually, that was wrong. Google's web page. Okay, so um, it's kind of strange, is. Full stop. Okay. So that's spell checking. Pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to introduce a, a tag error on purpose. So F3 started actually in the previous tag. Um, okay, so let's say we put an X instead of the 3. Save the file. And go to extras and go to check tags. Okay, so it often gives you more errors than there are actual actual tag errors, uh, but that's not particularly bad. Um, okay, so the first one is pretty much telling us where it is. So there's the blue, and then near it, we've got this fx. Okay, so let's change it back to. What it should be, which is F6. Uh, 
and run tag editor, tag checker again. Sorry, I'm outside the window again. Here we go. It still doesn't like it for some reason. Yeah, because... Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm going to copy from F3. Ah, oh, okay. Should have been F3, but in there. Not F6. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> no tag error. Okay, so there you go. No counting for stupidity. That's how we check for, for tags. Um, I think for the next tutorial, we'll have a look at how to create a glossary for a project. And also, I'll get faster at turning this off so that I don't have to talk rubbish for a minute. Okay, that's everything. Brilliant. Thank you very much, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.